Hello everyone, welcome to Bot Penguin. Today we will discuss how you can manage your WhatsApp chat flows. You can create multiple chat flows on WhatsApp and then you can manage them and use them according to your need. First of all, I'll select my WhatsApp chat board. To manage your WhatsApp chat flows, first of all, you have to select your WhatsApp chat board. On the left hand side, you will find the bots option. Just click on that and select your WhatsApp chat board from the list. You will land on this page and then navigate to the edit your chat flow section. Here you can manage all your chat flows. You can see the list of all the flows that you have created. You can also import flow by clicking on this button. You have to upload a file that must be in a JSON format. Or you can also create a new flow by clicking on this button. You have to enter the flow name here and then click on create flow. If you want to know in detail how you can create a new flow, the video link will be given in the description box below. You can check it out. Coming back on how to manage your chat flows. So here you can see the list of all the flows that you have created. You can also see the number of messages. You can also see the date when you created this chat flow and you can also see the last modified date. From here you can set any flow as a default flow and a revisit flow. Default flow is the flow which is activated when any new user interacts with your bot. So this flow will be served to all the new users and revisit flow is activated when any user revisits your chatbot. You can set two different flows as your default flow and revisit flow. For example, I want flow 1 as my default flow and I have set flow 2 as my revisit flow. You can also set one flow as a default flow as well as the revisit flow. That means I just want this flow 2 to be activated for the new users and for the revisit users as well. And you can take any actions from here like you can edit your flow. When you will click on the edit option, you will land on this page where you can add any frequently used components, any request information components, send information components or trigger action components. And you can also edit any message text from here. If you want to know in detail how you can edit your existing chat flow, the video link will be given in the description box below. You can check it out. And you can also delete your chat flow from here if it is no longer needed. And you can also download your chat flow. The chat flow will be downloaded into your system. By clicking on the three dots here, you can edit your flow name. When you click on this option here, you can change the flow name. For example, I want to set this new name to this flow. After entering the name, you have to click on the update button. And you can see the flow name has been changed here. And you can also add flow triggers by clicking on this button. You can set up the keywords which user can use to trigger any chat flow while having chat conversations. You have to click on the setup trigger keywords. For the demo purpose, I am writing hello keyword here. So when any user types this word, so the new flow that we have created will be activated. You have to click on the add button to add this trigger keyword and it will be added. So that was all about how you can manage your WhatsApp chat flows. If you need any help, you can refer to our help documentation. The link of the same will be provided in the description box below. Thank you.